Uh, I'm Jose Chardier, and I'm from uh, Carbondale, Colorado. When I was uh, a younger person and in graduate school, I was inspired by a show that I saw at a museum in Detroit. And it traveled around called, I'm paraphrasing, but something like the influence of African and oceanic art uh, to 20th century painting and sculpture. With glass, I've, I've been working with it for uh, many years as, as my primary medium. These forms are sculptural forms that have a bowl and a foot, and they're pretty large. And then there's going to be a separate form, which we're going to we're going to start making those tomorrow, which fit inside the bowl and kind of come out of the bowl. I think those forms are more kind of African in nature. And so that's been a, a big influence, more, more African art than oceanic art. But I still look at it, and that kind of set me, you know, I think on a tra trajectory, trajectory with my work. There have been a lot of other influence in the meantime. It, for color, I, I look at a lot of different things because I use a lot of color in my work. I know how glass works and how glass color in particular works, like how these colors work together. But it's interesting, I was talking to Carrie, the, the announcer downstairs, that uh, because we had taken three of the bowls out and they were very different than what I thought they were going to look like. And that's really typical of glass. You know, you think it's going to be, it's going to look a certain way uh, the colors are, and then they come out and they're totally different than what you expected. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, right now I have a book downstairs that I'm, I'm open to, you know, getting color ideas as we work today. He's a 20th century painter um, and uh, who works with kind of abstracted uh, forms and blocks of color, and I've always been felt a real affinity with his use of color. Uh, and I wish I could think of his name now. Um, so it forces you kind of out of your comfort zone um, a little bit. And so with these pieces, and with most of the, so often in my work, I have to kind of roll with the punches, with what I've been given. And so now the challenge will be to uh, work you know, with the colors that I have, and then relate that to these interior forms that are gonna be there and make those two tie together.